Yo, what's up, my brother? What's up, my sister? This is your boy Oscar Ntege again with yet another amazing tutorial. Guess what today? Today I'm going to show you how to get refined skin textures. Did you hear that? I'm going to teach you how to make refined skin textures for your images. Now, this is the image we are going to edit. This beautiful girl here is called Rachel. This time around, we are going to refine her skin textures. This is what we're going to do. Uh, we are first of all, first going to work on the tones and so that we have the skin tones blending. Then we have these textures get refined so that when somebody looks at it, it would actually be a representation of what a typical beauty shot would look like. Now, without further ado, let us dive into this. Now, we are still going to use our technique of frequency separation. When I talk about skin textures, I mean this particular relics you're seeing on top of her. So let us dive into this already. So as usual, we are going to duplicate this layer twice, just like this. And uh, we're going to name the middle layer, tons, and we're going to name the upper layer, We are using a technique called frequency separation. Now, when you're using frequency separation, it is basically a, a skin retouching technique where you get, you separate the texture from the colors of the skin. Basically, this technique gives you an opportunity to work onto a particular image on textures and colors of an image on different separate layers. And this is what we are going to do. So. We have a frequency of color and a frequency of textures. Let us dive into this. So what we are going to do, we are first going to unsee this and get this, select the tonal layer. We come into filter, we say blah, and we do say Gaussian blah. Now, here is the thing. Uh, this is where I need your attention the most. This is where most people mess up when it comes to editing. This first blur usually takes them off. That is why I'm not uh, a big, big advocate of people who download uh, frequency separation actions and they do things automatically because when you download a frequency separation action uh, without putting certain things into consideration, for example, if, if somebody shot an image with a uh, a 50 megapixel camera definitely the particular blur required for 50 megapixel camera is completely different from a blur required of a 21 megapixel camera and also how close is the image to the camera what is the focal length of the camera so the blur really depends on how how much yeah of how big the pixels are in an image. I don't know whether that makes sense. So what we're going to do, we're going to blur out here, the texture. Now, every piece you're blurring out in this particular, in this particular layer is going to resurface in the texture layer. So basically every texture you want to subtract off, yeah, this particular layer, every texture you want to maintain in this, particular layer you blur it out you know so the less you blur out the more refined the skin will be and the more you blur out the less refined the skin will be but right now we want to have it in between so we're going to make sure we no longer see this texture i think i love the texture around the cheek area this is the kind of texture i want to maintain so we shall just come and just blur it out just a little uh, I'll take it a little behind. I think 8.2 is very good. I don't want you to cram digits. I just want you to understand how the technique works. Now, every texture that has been blurred out here is going to resurface because that is the texture we do want to maintain. So we are going to come here and say, okay. So you're going to come here on the texture layer. Now we are going to subtract this, the texture that we blurred out and all confine it all in this texture layer. So you select the texture layer, you come here into image, you say apply image, 
and then you come here as you say tones remember we are subtracting tones you come here and select blending mode subtract keep the scale at 2 keep the offset at 128 leave the rest the way they are and then come here and say okay so when you're going to turn this to linear light now let me just put this in a group yeah and uh, let us name this frequency now if i show you the before if i unsee this and i the after basically you realize it's the same image this is the same image as this this one we put in a group the only difference is that uh, this one we've decided to divide the texture and the ponds and put them you know separate on separate layers that is the difference but this uh this is uh and the same image as this only that this has given us an opportunity to create a division between the textures and the tones so these are all the textures are seated on their own frequency and the tones are seated on their own frequency so let us now begin working on this now since we are going to work on the textures mostly uh, we are first going to refine to refine the tones then we come back to the texture a little bit later so you come on the texture layer we're going to use our our lasso tool and then we begin selecting here just like that say filter blah and then say gaussian blah so we're just going to to blur this out and you know until we see that the skin is refined at least the colors have to look refined just like that so we are also going to come here press ctrl f like that so basically the, here what we are doing we're just refining the textures now i don't want to lose that highlight there when i use the same frequency the same blur amount of gaussian blur i get out i'm losing out on that ah, cheek highlight so i'll just come and create it's an unknown frequency here rather a, a blur that maintains that cleans the texture but again maintains the that highlight that i don't want to lose out on like that I come here still so I still come here because I'm not seeing the effect and then yeah, like that come in the forehead area still press ctrl F so what I'm working on I'm just now refining the tones before we head out to the actual thing that we are meant to do i just want us to get something really really beautiful for for the whole image so we just come and do the same right here you come here still do the same come this side that come here like that here I remove all this so basically like I would say this this is uh, how we have worked on the skin tones now the next thing we are going to do since we are finished now working on the skin tones we are going to work on what they call uh, the textures and this is how we're going to do it now we're going to first take this back to normal just here change the blending mode back to normal and on top of this we are just going to create a curves adjustment layer so that we emphasize the textures you know let us see and uh, i'm just going to come and pump right there 
then I come over here and also you know so you don't have to darken it more because it will expose a lot of stuff but you want to leave it at a level where you have at least all the ugly textures represent themselves at the top so the next thing we are going to do uh, we're going to come back to the texture layer and then begin working they are actually we are going to use the spot healing tool yeah the healing brush the healing tool and uh, the clone stamp for most of this so here's what we're going to do so we are just going to come and clean out all this yeah i know this is in here but all this white stuff you know that gives it a dandruffy kind of look we remove all this i'm going to be fast in this one but if you're doing your own uh, pictures or a beauty shot I, I would advise you take as much time as possible now you see all this white stuff everything that really makes the image look cheap we remove all this Uh, if you want to follow along, I'll, I'm, I'm actually I'll, I will leave the picture in the a link of the picture in the description below, so that you guys can have fun working alongside me. Just like you know, we are only removing the ugly textures that we cannot really see with our naked eyes. But most of these textures resurface again when you are printing that is when you realize certain parts were really missed out you know depending on the kind of image you're doing if you're doing something for a billboard or or a bar a big mega print definitely you have to zoom in and check all this stuff out and see how you uh, the other thing i would advise if you're working on certain parts it's better you have the brush not very very soft you keep it a bit hard so that you avoid that powdery kind of feel it usually leaves behind really so remove all these all that now I, truth, I, I don't like the way it has come out here. This is when I come with the clone stamp and then I'll put it to normal and just come and, you know, just, I'll just reduce the opacity and flow. Then I just come and paint it over. So let us remove this cover adjustment layer and put it to linear light just to see our progress uh, where is linear light right here yeah let us see Look, i'll just put this in a in a group and we see before and after before i mean uh when you look so hard we still have white dots really that are you know let me just put it back to normal now these white dots they they make the whole picture you know look cheap and that is what we don't want so still using our clone stamp i'll raise the opacity i'll just come and rub the flow i'll just add in the brush a bit so that now for those of you who don't know how the clone stamp works basically what you do you press alt on your keyboard on a particular part that is that doesn't have blemishes you click and then you just come and click on where you want to cover that is how the old the clone stamp works basically it is you copying and texting te pasting layers pasting different textures to different parts you know so we're just removing these dark And especially if you're editing 
skins of wool colored people i mean it's you have to put on this curve adjustment layers so that you don't miss out on uh, getting rid of these overly dark things because remember we are already melanin we are already dark so you have to just put on that curves adjustment layers so that you emphasize all those details mm, she has a heavy eyebrow and uh, yeah we need to also smoothen these out all these white dots these white dots oh, like that dark vein in the eye these white dots make an image really really look cheap and that is not what we want like that these white dots these these are the ones that so you, you zoom out as well and see yeah i think i'm loving what i'm seeing already let us just zoom into the lips i know this is but this is all part of the textures and just get rid of these that i mean everything that makes the image look cheap we just remove just put it back to linear light again and maybe remove this I mean now if this is basically how you get a picture with refined texture now if you want to emphasize the texture even more or even bring it up more what you do you can just come and uh, uh, I'm just going to delete this curves adjustment layer before I go there and then we're just going to come here and create like a screenshot you press ctrl or command alt shift and e on your keyboard just to create a screenshot of this current layer so what you're going we, we are going to do we are just going to come right here and then we say filter We're going to use this time a surface blur you know now surface blur and then we're going to raise the radius now to around i think 60 will be enough and then threshold you, you don't want to take the threshold too far you you want to create your threshold and keep it at such a level that uh, you have you just have these edges the lines maintained just like that because what we are going to do uh, we are basically going to recontour this image again so you just come and say okay it is quite a heavy filter so you really need a computer that uh, works First, you come here and say select this upper layer okay let us rename this i'll rename this low and i'll rename this high so you come here on the high layer you say image apply so you come and subtract from the low you see how it comes it's then keep this subtract to 128 and then you come here and say linear light again so what we are going to do we're just going to come and kill the opacity of this <laughs> kill the opacity of that just like that so when you kill the opacity of that basically what you're doing you're bringing back the actual actual skin texture but this time you are you're bringing it back with contours that are 
cleaner. I don't know whether I'm making sense. You're bringing back her skin texture and emphasizing it, but with contours that are cleaner. But we don't want this effect in all of the image. You know, we don't want it to be to affect places like the hair. We don't want it on the eyes. We don't want it on certain parts of the face. So what are we going to do? We're going to come create a group for these and then just name these this textures and contours oh, let me call it texture contours for just your understanding so what you're going to do you're just going to create a layer mask just right next to it by you select that group and then click the layer mask and then we're going to press Control i on our keyboard Control i just like that on our keyboard and then get our brush tool and then we're going to paint white on those particular places where we want our texture more emphasized so you come get your brush make sure it's the layer mask that is selected and then you paint over those places where you want that particular texture emphasized like that because remember, we don't want it in the whole image. We just want the texture back on those different parts of the image. You don't want again to have an image that is, you know, plastic. Yeah, you want her textures back, but this time looking finer. You want also her textures back in the neck like that. So really, depending on where you're going to really see this image from, if you're going to see it from a mobile phone, I would advise, yes, you keep the texture more emphasized. If it is going to be on a billboard, definitely you will have to blur out this texture just a little bit, rather reduce the opacity of this texture just a little bit, you know, because it's a billboard, you don't want textures or actually pointing into, into the face of a cosmetic ad you know it making it look like a pale skin but basically that is how they adjust textures i hope to see you in my next video if you have not yet subscribed to this channel you should subscribe now and i'll just give you a moment to subscribe hope that's done and i hope to see you in my next video and adios